What's up everyone? You guys know us as the people with the giant TVs. But what you may not realize is it's kind of complicated for us to get great content on these TVs for every review. So it's awesome that we're pairing with DirecTV to show you guys what DirecTV has in store for you both from the streaming services and the satellites. Yeah, we've been customers with DirecTV for years, so I'm really excited to see what this Gemini Airbox looks like and what DirecTV has for us coming in 2023. Let's do it. Let's go. So we've got your new knife, Jen, since the last one failed you on the unboxing. So here, why don't you go at it? Yeah, that other one was pretty horrible. So this one is way sharper, I better be careful. So first we have the DirecTV Gemini Air setup guide and it tells us what we've got in the box. It tells us how to set up our Gemini Air and then it tells us how we can connect to more apps, which is really a bonus. Yeah, we love Google Play. And there's also a two year warranty, which is awesome because it's in line with their two year price guarantee. So you can stop worrying about yearly price increases and really just start watching and enjoying your service. So I'd really like to check out this Gemini Air, but first this remote looks a little bit easier to access. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, this looks pretty straightforward. It's a nice remote, separate on and off buttons input. So obviously it pairs with your TV and maybe even with your soundbar or sound system. You got the guide button, the home list, all that kind of stuff. So obviously it's gonna be pretty efficient with your direct TV service. It does have the Google microphone there in the middle, so hopefully you can voice talk to text. Is that what you say? Or just voice? Voice activate it. Voice activate your favorite channels. And then numbers at the bottom. So pretty straightforward remote, but obviously we need to get the product out in order to make this remote work. And so this is the Gemini Air device that connects to your TV through the HDMI port. It's different from a Genie client or a box that you may connect to a satellite. The Gemini will give you the ability to watch your DirecTV service along with using all the apps from the Google Play Store. And underneath we have the power cord that has a USB-C connection. Not much else in the box, so I think it's time for us to fire this up and see what's going on. Let's play. So with the Gemini box, Jen, first thing we gotta do is pair the remote. So we're gonna hold these two buttons as they show on the screen for three seconds. I got some blue lights coming on mm -hmm. and now it looks like there's like pixie dust coming off the remote. I love pixie dust. Yeah, that's huge. We gotta connect it to the uh, to the Wi-Fi, to the Wi-Fi, to the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Don't connect your dongle to me. Wait, they got trivia while we're I waiting for the download? Trivia. What is the name of a popular new television genre in Scandinavia broadcasting hours of programming where not much happens? Is it slow TV or Nordic Noir? Nordic Noir. You think? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going with Nordic Noir. Close, what? Slow TV? Well, they should name it Nordic Noir. Okay, noir. that was a trick question because one just obviously didn't sound like it. Okay, next one. As of 2018, the most popular genre of music in the US is, I wanna say hip hop. I think hip hop. I was gonna say I thought it'd be country, but let's go with hip hop. Woohoo! You got the fix sparklies. Dust. All right, so we're one for two. Which one is the most commonly used statements on competitive reality sh shows? I didn't come here to make friends or catch me outside. How about catch me outside? How about that? Which one? I came here to make friends. All right. I came here to find love. All right, do we wanna allow it to link with our account, to cast the TV, to use a voice remote, and to get more apps? Is this a Google Android operating system? It is. It looks like it. Man, of course we wanna sign in, let's do it. DirecTV is powered by Android TV. Get the apps from Google Play. You know, this is right up our alley. We really like Android TV, we talk about it all the time, and now we got it again. Very nice. Piece of cake. Now just sit back while we load your TV. Just a couple more, just two more minutes. Direct TV. Hey, we're here. Let's get up. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, here we it's go. It's game time, Jen. It's game, game time. time. <laughs> What's up? She's like, I want to see if there is a horse on the screen. This guy oh, will let you know. He loves it. He loves Hi. to bark at horses on the screen. All right. So right when you turn it on, Jen, it looks pretty familiar to me because I've, we've had Direct TV services before. Mm -hmm. But you get a lot of options at the top. It's a very nice menu system to get to where you want to go. So you have the guide on the top left, so you'll be able to look at all the different channels. And luckily for you, you can either put them in alphabetical order or you can put them in order based on the channel number, which for legacy DirecTV users is pretty straightforward and easy. Of course, I'm a big fan of channel 206, ESPN, of course. We got it in HD right there. You also have all your local channels. So that's a big benefit because local channels are always included with DirecTV. So you got CBS, ABC, PBS, Telemundo, NBC, Fox, and so on and so forth. Lots of great local channels, so you're always gonna get your local game or you know news channel or whatever you wanna watch. And also, you can favorite different channels here, so you can put a little heart by it, and then therefore, if you wanna look at all the different favorites, you just go over to your 
favorite channels. Yeah, so why don't we put some of the important channels on here, like the Hallmark Channel, because we've got those Christmas movies coming. ESPN, NFL Network, all those cool things that we love to watch. Absolutely. Then, of course, you also have 4K channels. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I like to watch things in 4K, get some sporting events or some really cool, like, nature stuff. So that's awesome. And look, Brandon, you can download the apps right through here. We've got Max and Netflix, Prime for your Thursday night football games. Ooh, you click on it and boom, it just opens up the app right there. So yeah, that's pretty awesome because that then great. you don't necessarily have to hit the home button and then go to the app every time. It's right in the mix there. I like it. But really for me, the reason to have this DirecTV is not just for those apps, but because it has so many different channels. I really like the fact that we can get all of our sports channels, all the news, the locals, and then we also have this really good package that comes with all the different movie channels because oh, yeah. you know me, since college, I have loved to watch movies on DirecTV. I actually used to have my own satellite on top of my college apartment and did not split it with my college roommate just because I wanted to watch the movies so often. You paid full price for DirecTV in college? I sure did. What a rock star, huh? I had the blame. <laughs> yeah. Now, besides the guide, you also have your watch now area, which kind of gives you some of the things maybe you've been watching or predictive. It tries to guess what you might want to watch. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Then you also have a library, which has got your DVR recordings. Yeah, hint, hint. Gangs recorded. of New York. Yeah, yeah Gangs of New York. One. Great movie. Um, you got sports. So obviously in our house, this is a big thing. Not so much the golf <laughs> or the NASCAR. <laughs> or the or, Bass Pro Shops. Or the WWE wrestling. But for us, it's more yeah. like, you know, the football and all that. So I'm sure once we get in here and use this more, this specific box, it'll have all the college and you know professional football games we want, but still pretty cool that it's all lined up. And DirecTV offers over 60,000 titles on On Demand, which is really awesome. If there's those comfort shows you like to watch before you go to bed, you've got a lot of access right here. Yeah, we are big fans of watching some of the older shows and movies. Who wants to come in in the middle of a movie when you know you can start it over, right? Yeah, remember how often you watched Norbit for a while? Norbit is an unusually good movie. How you doing? <laughs> and look, we even have some pay-per-view movies. So you have opportunities to watch so much content on this. I know Yellowstone's a pretty popular show. We should yeah, watch more of that. I think, I think we got like three episodes through that and we never finished. You have to start watching at seven before I fall asleep. Wait, but we can watch that. Oh, that's cool. And look, you can get popular TV shows from apps. So they have Ahsoka on here, which is a very popular one these days on the old Disney Plus. Yes, it is. And then over here we have the apps, which it looks very similar to the Android TV operating systems that we are very used to, as I said before. But you got the Google Play Store, you know, TV movies, YouTube, music, even games, all kinds of stuff. So with the Gemini Air, you have all your entertainment in one spot with like thousands and thousands of viewing time hours to watch this stuff. I'm gonna use the Google Assistant here to get it to a channel so we can watch some content. Discovery Channel. Boom, it's on. Hey, that worked pretty good. That's pretty cool. So one thing I wanna talk about is the picture quality of this Gemini box. So I am a big fan of it. I think it looks really good, even though it's similar resolution to some of the other streaming services that are available. The problem is not all streaming services are created equal. And we have some issue with some of the resolution, the, the bit rate you know, of these other services and that they just haven't looked very good when we're reviewing TVs. So it makes it more difficult to say, is it the TV, is it the streaming service? But overall, and you know, throughout the past, I've really liked DirecTV because it always seems to come in very clear. And I think that it you know, connects to the internet quite well. It comes through with strong bit rate. And overall, the picture quality, in my opinion, has been better than a lot of the streaming services we've tried in the past. Whatever the Hallmark Channel looks the best on, I'm all for it. I wanna see that crisp Canadian cinematography. What? Why is it Canadian? Is it always it's Canadian? It's normally where they film, it just seems oh, like. I didn't know that. See, you learn something new every day. And yeah, DirecTV is actually responsible for Jen and I sticking together early on in our relationship. Yeah, he had all of the channels that I loved, so how could I leave him? And now look at us. Yay, DirecTV. <laughs> I'm sold. But staying on point, the issue that I had with that other streaming service not to be mentioned was that when it was a black screen, it actually wasn't black. There was like a red tint around the edges and it was just something I wasn't accustomed to coming from DirecTV where it was very clear. So that was something that bothered me a lot and I've made comments on this 
on live streams and to other people. So a lot of people know I've had some issues with other streaming services, but it's great to be back here with DirecTV. And the DirecTV streaming is not just limited to the Gemini box. I mean, you can use it on practically every device out there. I have the app on my phone and I'm always using it. You know, a lot of times we're not all in the same space trying to watch the same programs. Jen will be working, the kids are at school, and I'm at home slacking watching sports, you know? <laughs> so, you know, I have to have it on my phone as well. The only request that I might have from DirecTV is that they make it available in mini mode on your phone so that you can do two things at once. That'd be a lot more effective for me. Yeah, because he really likes to double task his procrastination. Yeah, true that, that is true. Now, one thing that used to be a barrier for DirecTV was that you needed to have a satellite. And it was really awesome if you were in a rural area but you know, if you couldn't have a satellite, if you lived in an apartment, like we had at one point, the inability to put a satellite in our area, so then we couldn't have DirecTV. So a lot of complications before the old interweb. Yeah. But now, if you are in the rural areas, I definitely recommend still getting that satellite. It's the best way to get great satellite services from DirecTV, but if you have high-speed internet, or like us, sort of high-speed internet, you probably should just stick with the DirecTV stream, where you can pick from different packages, and get you know all the channels you want some of them the ones you don't you can keep out all you know go through that and see what's best for you what i noticed is that their base package is actually lower price than some of the other streaming services now that may have not have been the case back in the day there was some new streaming platforms coming online and their whole bit was to offer really low pricing but now that everyone wants like a big plethora of channels it's very competitive and this direct tv package is one of the lowest i've seen so at the end of the day direct tv has really great options no matter where you live you can still get the traditional satellite in rural areas, which is a fantastic option. Very robust, a lot of TVs can cover you, get you all kinds of good services that you wouldn't expect to get in those rural areas. But the streaming service is fantastic and it's competitive with regards to the other ones that are out there that might have been inexpensive to start, but now they've realized everybody wants a lot of channels and there's not a lot of service that offers you all the channels you get with DirecTV for the low price and all the on-demand options, movies, sports. And you always get your local channels. What's not to love? So DirecTV really is TV without compromise. You get all the channels you want at a great low price. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you guys are interested in learning more about DirecTV, check out the link in the description as well while you're down there. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.